I start to freak out. I'm like, this is so wrong. What is she doing? Hey, I'm Lena. I have been training in all styles of dance since I was about four years old. The style nearest and dearest to my heart that has really shaped who I am as a person today is ballet. Hey, I'm Rebecca. I'm a dancer. I've been dancing for over 15 years. When I was younger, my dance company did a series of pieces from Swan Lake. There's a really iconic ensemble piece where there are a few girls and our arms are intertwined and we're doing the choreography kind of as one. It's called the dance of the little swans. It's really, really important that the choreography is exactly the same and we're all on point, literally. At the same time, moving the same way. If you're behind, it's a ripple effect. So when we're in our peak performance season, we usually go through like two pairs of point shoes a week. Usually when I tie my point shoes, there's the elastic that gives you the ankle support and then there's the two long ribbons that wrap around your ankle for more support, but also like it just looks really pretty. They were new shoes and I usually tie them like two times, not tuck it in hairspray, like it's not gonna go anywhere. So we get on stage and we started the piece and I kind of felt like this ankle was secure, it was there, and this one was a little bit like loose. But I'm thinking like, okay, choreography. We're doing the dance and then I start noticing that my ribbon is coming untied. If you've ever been a dancer, like there's no microphone, no nothing, like the audience is so far away, so we'll literally be talking to each other. To the girl next to me, I'm like, girl, my ribbon is coming untied, like I don't know what to do it's gonna fall like I'm gonna trip all four of us are gonna go down like I was just freaking out I couldn't stop and like fix it obviously it's a performance so I just kind of let it become untied the most important thing I was trying to focus on was not tripping over it with my other foot I started having to like kick my leg a lot higher so that the ribbon wouldn't be dangling on the floor the other three girls are doing their like pretty little tendus and I'm like kicking it all the way, like trying to get it out of the way. I just could not fall because if I fell, the whole thing was gonna be They were probably like, why is she doing this? I made it through the whole piece, didn't trip or anything. It was like, to this day, one of the most stressful malfunctions I've ever had. So I was at a dance competition and this dance competition was one of the ones that I'd been preparing for for months in advance. It took place at Disneyland. In the dance number that we were competing with, I was dancing with all these little girls that were around six years old. In the dance number, I had to pick them up and throw them around. We were all in these beautiful pink dresses and in the number we were throwing pillows to one another. It was kind of like a glamorous pillow fight. We had to get very close with one another, hug one another, and just pretend like we were all sisters having fun. So I'm dancing and I'm really looking forward to this one part where all of the girls one by one come up to me. I pick them up, I spin them around, they throw their arms out. It's such a beautiful visual. I hold them, I spin them, and I bring them up to me and give them a huge hug like I'm their big sister. And one by one the girls are coming up to me, I'm having the time of my life. I can tell that the audience is really loving it, the judges are smiling, and so I have a great feeling about this. And then I'm picking up the last girl, I bring her up to me, I spin her around, and as we're spinning, I see the look on her face. Now, going upside down isn't the most comfortable thing, so obviously we have to put fake smiles on while we're upside down, but she didn't have a smile on her face. She looked sick. So I pick her back up and I give her a huge hug. Then when I let go of her, she's still in my arms and she goes, ah, all of this green gunk comes out of her nose and it gets all over my costume. And I'm so freaked out. I'm like, oh, and then <laughs> big smiles again because the judges are right in front of me. I'm thinking in my mind like, oh my God, I hope they don't mark us down for this because judges will mark you down for lots of things. I had to keep dancing. <laughs> so I kind of pushed that girl, you know, to continue her choreography. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just gonna try to get over this. But I felt so bad for all the little girls I was dancing with because I had to hug them and pick them up. And I knew that the snot on my dress was getting on their costumes too. Now we were a huge snot fest. It was ruined in my mind. I could tell all the judges were seeing that our costumes now had these awkward marks on them. But we ended up finishing the number. We didn't get first place, but we ended up placing, which was good. I've definitely learned from that experience. Anytime a girl is sick, I tell her like, 
don't get on stage. Just have your understudy go on stage instead. It's totally not worth it. I was doing a performance when I was training at Joffrey Ballet School in New York. We were getting ready to do our end of the summer course performance. My partner and I, we were like bonding all summer long. We were having a great time and he was such a great partner and we rehearsed this one lift that we were doing in the piece so many times. It's a fish, so basically the man is holding you up and you have the one leg in arabesque and then the other one is tucked like this. It's very pretty, it's a classic lift, but it's not really hard or technical. We had rehearsed it so many times and we were just kind of like, we got it, it's like so easy. It kind of had gotten to the point of in our brains where it was muscle memory. We were like ready to nail it. My dad came out, he flew out to come watch me. I was so excited for the show. And we get there on stage and we're, you know, we're doing the piece, everything's great. And then I'm in the lift and I'm kind of realizing like, Something feels a little bit off. In ballet, a lot of people think that the lifting is just the man and you just like look like cute on top, but it's really not. There's a lot of work involved in the partner on top and you have to be so stiff because if any part of you is wiggling or loose or not tight and connected to your center, you will fall. So I was up there, you know when you're just like, you know you're falling and the more you try to overcompensate, the worse it is. That's kind of what was happening where I was up there and I just knew I was going down. At that point, I was just having to plan how I was gonna land to avoid it hurting and being loud. And I was hoping that he wasn't gonna try to catch me on the way down because that could just make it like way worse You know, just let me go. I fell and I kind of made it to where I landed like on the side of my hip So that it wouldn't really hit like the bones So I landed kind of like my legs were like this on the floor and it hurt so bad I am on stage right now There are hundreds of people in the audience and I'm on the floor just the reality of that was taking my mind over the fact that I had just fallen like seven feet. So I was down there and I was like, you know what, like, my dad did not come out here to see me cry on stage. And I was like, all right, we're gonna improvise. This was part of the choreography. Like this is, this is contemporary ballet, it wasn't. In the end, we just got off stage and we were just dying laughing because we were like, could not believe that happened. We were so confident that it was gonna be perfect. I asked my dad after, I was like, what, like, how did that look? And he was like, it was pretty clear that you fell, but it was great. You didn't cry, it was awesome. In the end, I made him proud and that's all I really wanted to do. So my dance company was performing the Nutcracker one year and this is a ballet classic, so we have to get it right. And I was playing the Nutcracker. We're a girl group, so sometimes us girls have to play like male roles. And I was totally fine with that because this was the lead and this was my moment to shine. I was so excited, my grandma was in the audience. I'm on stage dancing and we're at the climax of the show. This is the big battle between the Nutcracker and the Mouse King. And I'm waiting on stage, I'm doing my choreography, I'm ready to get into this really heated dance number. And I hear the cue in the music for the Mouse King to come on and I'm waiting and nobody's coming on stage. So I have to start improvising because the music is going on and I can tell the audience is quiet. They're waiting to see what happens. And suddenly I see the girl who's supposed to come on get on stage, but she's not dressed as the Mouse King. She's dressed in a beautiful fairy costume. I start to freak out in my head. I'm like, this is so wrong. What is she doing? So she dances next to me. She starts doing the choreography that we were supposed to do, which is super violent. And I whisper to her really quickly. I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you wearing this? And she whispers back to me, I couldn't find my costume. Oh, it was so tough. In that moment, I was like, shoot. My favorite dance number of the whole performance is now gonna be the most awkward battle between a fairy and the nutcracker that everybody knows is not supposed to happen because the Nutcracker's a good guy. He's not gonna be battling a fairy. So we have to do the choreography as it's planned. So I had my fake sword in my hand and I had to slice this fairy. I had to engage in this really heated battle with her. I was really worried I would get my sword caught in her dress and I feel bad for the audience because that's one of most people's favorite dance numbers and we did it wrong. But we finished the show, we bowed at the end, we got lots of applause, so 
I'm happy with it, it's in the past. I was in a competition studio and every studio has their like favorite star dancer that's always like kind of geared to win everything and is always front and center in all the pieces and like that wasn't me, it was this other girl. She was a great dancer though, but we just kind of knew that she had a little bit of like special treatment happening. There was one year that we were in the same age category and our solos were gonna be competing against each other that year. Either the regional competitions, I was used to placing one place below her. She would get first, I would get second, or she would get second, I would get third. I would always be like right after her and I was like fine with it. Like she was really talented and she was great. This one competition though, I happened to place higher than she did. And so afterwards in the dressing room, you know, our moms are back there, you know, she's like taking my hair out of the bun. We're all getting, you know, undressed after awards. And my mom is like really happy and like surprised that I won. And she was like, I'm so proud of you, you know, gassing me up in the dressing room, like two feet away. The girl and her mom are like so quiet, like nothing. And the mom goes to her daughter like in a, in a whisper, but like I'm trying to hear you catch this shade whisper. It's okay, honey. The judges clearly messed up the scores. And I was just like, oh my God, I cannot believe that she said that. And my mom, who is like the most elegant, classy, like put together woman, like never said a bad word or I had never heard her say one until this moment. She looks over and she's like, what did you say? I cannot believe that my mom was about to throw down over my score right now. It was such an iconic moment because I was like, and the other girl was like, the dancers are like, we're happy we won and we, you know, we're happy we're dancing. And the moms are like, ah, oh, they wow. love the scores. I cannot believe you would say that. My daughter works hard. You know, they were just going off. To this day, I'm like, mom, remember when you said that? It was like the best thing she's ever done. <laughs> A lot of people asked me when the show Dance Moms was really popular, like, that's not really how it is. Are they really that? And I'm like, yes, like, this is the story that I tell every time when people ask me that question.